Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of What's New at Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every single day is a train show. So much stuff to pack and sell and buy. Anyway, we got a whole bunch of new things coming up. Uh, hopefully, we'll find their way on your layout really soon. As a matter of fact, you can say I can't hardly contain myself. Yeah. Anyway, we have these brand new items from Scale Trains. As a matter of fact, these are, I'll get the official name for you, the Backpacker 5 Unit Well Car Train. I'm super excited, and let's take a look at two that we have on the tracks today. All right, as you can see here, we have the DTTX 5 Unit Well Car Train from Scale Trains, and I love the detailing on these cars here. I love that yellow. Everybody loves the DTTX or TTX or all those subsidiaries. And I actually really like this one, though. This is the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. You don't often see the green version. You usually see some brown versions here, but I like the green version here. I think this is really cool. It has a tremendous amount of detailing. If we take a look at the top of these cars here, you can see the etched metal walkways. We have a bunch of separately applied details. These cars are just fantastic looking. And of course, you know me, I like cars that have a little bit of heft to them and they are die cast metal. So they will have no problem staying on your tracks there. You do not need to, you know, uh, put anything in them to hold them down there. And of course, as you saw earlier, I have a couple of other versions here. This is just a standard TTX. And here is another version of the TTX as well. So you can get these or you can get a whole bunch of them and create a bunch of different unit trains or TTX, whatever you want to do. We got you covered. Now, these well cars are selling for $180.99. And truthfully, these are worth it because these are really nicely detailed cars. As I said, die cast well. They're nice and heavy. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $144.99. So that is a great deal to get on these cars here. A lot of people love the model, what they see on the real railroads today. And these cars are definitely on the real trains today. So model the contemporary area that we have now. Boy, if there was just only something to put in them, because they look nice, but there's not... Wait a minute, I have an idea. How about we get some containers? Oh my gosh, as I said, I can hardly contain my excitement, in case you didn't hear me the first time. So these are the three packs here, as you can see here. I have a couple of different versions here, variations here. I like that one there. APL. I put down a couple of here. And a couple of different ones there. Or if you don't want the three packs, guess what? I got you covered because I have some single packs as well. So you can get some singles. Don't only get you to the strip club. Hey, now. Yeah. So as you can see here, I have some single packs as well. So if you want to mix and match them. I got these actually have the tarp cover on top of them, which is a neat little addition too. So these are just really great looking container cars. And we've taken a look at containers in the past, but I really like these containers here from Scale Trains and they'll fit in those well cars perfectly. Now the single containers sell for $10.49 and the three packs sell for $30.99. So this is just an awesome looking train. I know you're really gonna like it. You know, if you're thinking, well, maybe that's a lot. We'll tell you about throwing the engineer hall discount and get 5% off. So that will help you out there. And I think this is just gonna be great. So come in Yankee Dabbler, get these rolling on your rail today. So you can be like, yay, more trains. All right, so my wife says I need to get more physically fit. So I gotta take a boxing because it's time for my next boxing match with box cars oh yeah check out these 40 foot walther's box cars here with the lehigh valley the pennsylvania railroad i love that illinois central that's a great color scheme there erie lackawanna we got the southern and remember gives a green light to innovations we have the penn central here the green bay and western and finally the redding railroad now, these are really cool looking box cars. You can never have enough box cars. I think that's when they were hauling out to what, 50,000 now? Yeah, getting close. Yeah, something like that. But these are just really neat looking box cars here. A standard car that everyone would need on the railroad, a 40 foot box car. They are built nice, they look nice, they have die cast metal wheels. Love the detailing there, especially in the colorful cars here. So these are really neat, and I think you need them on your layout today. How much are these box cars, you might be wondering? 
while they retail for $31.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $25. 58 that is a great deal to get on these cars here as you can see i have eight different versions so get these rolling on your rails today and i hope i win my boxing match oh, this is so pretty i don't want to hurt it hey man we're gonna get high now how what man on high q box cars yeah Woo! yeah check out these cars from Athern. these are 40 foot high q box cars here we got the golden west service we got the southern pacific we had the golden west service as they were taken over by southern pacific so nice patch up there we got the Burlington Northern and the Penn Central. I actually like that Penn Central. I think it's a cool look here. Now, if you take a look at the top of here with these roofs here, as you can see, got the nice silver paint scheme there. I love the fact that on the side it even says excess height on there. These are really cool. So if you like the 40-foot boxcars, but you want them a little taller, you need to go with these high cube boxcars here from Athern. I really like these cars here. And as I said, you can never have enough. One other feature I wanted to mention is these doors actually do open there. So you can put whatever you want in there. Like, uh, I don't know. What can you put in a boxcar engineer hall? Uh, boxes. Bo boxes. For, <laughs> wow. How original. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, these high-Q boxcars sell for $30.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $24.99. So you can have a boxcar type of day. Get these cars going on your layout today. And I know you're going to be the hit of the town. At least with us. We'll like to see them. Are you ready for some RS3s? Yeah! All right, let's take a look at the engines. All right, as you can see here, I have these RS3 units from Bowser. And I have a bunch of different road names here, including the Norfolk and Western. I have the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle. I have the Central Vermont, and an engine that looks very similar is the Grand Trunk. And then finally, a small little rare red, some people might know, uh, the Pennsylvania. Yeah, now, as small. you can see, each one of these locomotives has a different variation and detail to it. So, for example, if we study this Pennsylvania here, you can see I have the high number boards right here. I also have the elongated antenna. And also, this is the only engine here that had the lights go vertically as opposed to horizontally. Or as you can see in the, uh, the Grand Trunk of the Central Vermont, I do not have the high number boards or antenna, but rather I have, what is this little hatch here called? Uh, the Winter Weather Vibrization Hatch. Well, very cool, all right? Because after all, these did operate up in Canada. Whereas if you take a look at the Spokane, Portland, Seattle, you see I have the number boards with no antenna. As a matter of fact, the horns actually change as well on some of these things. And that one even has a beacon. And then finally, the RS3 doesn't have any of those, but again, it has a different horn rearrangement here. So these are just really cool looking diesel locomotives here. They do have DCC, they do have sound. However, if you're interested in the DC version, I actually have a couple of really neat road names here, including the Erie Lackawanna and the Western of Maryland. Be honest with you, I actually really like both these paint schemes here. So they're really cool looking. So you might be wondering how much these engines are. Well, they're somewhere between $1 and a million. I'll let you guess. If you guess it, no, all right, I'll tell you. Anyway, so the RS3, the DC version, sells for $199.98, but we're selling it for $169.99. And the DCC version sells for $299.98, but we're selling that for $249.99. Now, in all honesty, the RS3 has never been kind of one of my favorite engines, but I actually really like the way that these engines look. They have a lot of detailing here. We're going to run that Pennsylvania. We're going to see what it sounds like because I think you're really going to like it in action. So, all aboard. All right, so we got that RS3 Pennsylvania on the track. You're going to be dying to try this diesel. I wish I was dead so I didn't have to hear that. Mean. All right, here we go. All aboard. Let's try out the sound system. Here is the home. Here's the bell. Ooh, I like that bell. On our way, are we going?
Statistik auf 10. Also. Now arriving on track number one, train number 85-95, a little short line in is the PRI. And don't send me any nasty messages, I know they're the standard of the world. Anywho, these are fantastic looking diesel locomotives. I gotta say, that sound system sounds awesome. I always love how that engine just sounds like it's just struggling with all its might to get going there. That's a great sound diesel locomotive, and I know you're really going to like it. So, go on engine, uh, I'm sorry, go on Yankee Dabbler, rather. You can subscribe to Engineer Hall, but go on yankeedabbler.com and get that engine on your layout today, because everybody needs an RS3 pulling their roster. What, you want more diesels? Well, we got them here because we have these SD40s from Ather. And as a matter of fact, these engines have DCC, they have sound, and they have flywheel. Some people might say they're flying out of here on your layout. All right, just, just look at the diesels. All right, so I have here the Southern Pacific, and that one's a really neat one because as you can see, I actually have a little beacon light up top. So that's really cool. I have here the Utah Railway. That is a really cool looking one, and not one can see that often there. So, the Utah Railway. Maybe our friends in Utah will buy that one. We have here the FURX. That is a cool looking paint scheme as well. I have here the Santa Fe. I like that Santa Fe. I just like that color scheme. It's a great color scheme here. And finally, the CSX. Now these engines are really cool looking here. Now these have the economy sound systems in here. So they are a little bit cheaper than say some of the more expensive decoders here. But I think that kind of passes the savings on to you as a consumer because you can now get a very affordable diesel locomotive for a really reasonable price. Now these engines sell for $229.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $195.48. And that's a great deal. As I said before, if I can get an engine for under $200 that has everything that I want in it, I think that is a deal to me. As you can see, this the detail that goes with these engines. Atherin does a really good job with their these locomotives here. And I just really like that look here. The SD40 is one of my top 10 favorite diesel locomotives all right it's a, it, at least in the top uh 100 uh but anyway these are just great looking diesel locomotives here i really like the way this looks here and especially you know you got each one of them has a subtle difference just like we saw with the bowser rs3s each one of these locomotives has a subtle different variation depending on what the road name uh had on their operational diesel locomotives so because it's a little unusual, we're going to go with that Utah Railway. We're going to try to appeal to our Utah fans here. I'm going to get these diesels out of the way here. And we are going to start up the Utah Railway diesel locomotive. So, all aboard. All right, here is the horn. The belt. I gotta say, I love that idle sequence. I just think that sounds really good. Well, let's get moving all board. Oh, 
now arriving, train number 9011, Utah. Man, I hope someone doesn't look at that train and say, you tall. All right. Anyway, so that engine, as I said, sells for uh, $229.98. We're selling here for $195.48. This is just a great looking engine. It sounds really good, too, especially with the economy of decoder inside of it. I think it sounds really nice. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get that thing rolling on your rails today. And a shout out to all our Utah fans. All right, so we got one more diesel locomotive to show you because by federal law, Engineer Hall has to show us at least 100 diesel locomotives a year, and we're falling behind, so we're complying, all right? And we have these SD50s. SD? I want something in HD. Let us see what we got. All right, well, we got these SD50 locomotives from Walther's. This is part of their mainline series, and check this out here. I got a couple of different row names here, including the Norfolk Southern. Hmm. Have you ever heard of them? Hmm. Quite a few things. Okay. Uh, I had the Chessy system there. I really like that paint scheme. We have the Chicago and Northwestern. And finally, Conrail. And I like that Conrail blue. Now, these are incredibly affordable diesel locomotives for you. As a matter of fact, they retail for $209.98. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $167.99. Ninety-nine. And once again, anytime I can get a diesel locomotive for under two hundred dollars, I'm not walking. Out. I'm running to go get it because that is a great deal. Now these engines are perfect for the starter that is looking to get started into a DCC locomotive. These don't have a bunch of detailing in them, but however, there are some pre-drilled holes already in here. So if you wanted to add some extra grab irons or some extra detailing to these locomotives, they give you the opportunity to do that. You just need to get those parts, of course. And, of course, as we do always on our show, we're going to run these things just because we have problems. We like to play with trains, and if you guys want to watch, we, that's up to you. All right, so we're going to run these SD40s, or 50s, rather. See, I bumped up already. 50 is the new 40. Something like that. Anyway, and I'm going to run the Chessie system because there's just something about that Chessie Cat logo that just makes everybody happy. So, let's run the Chessie. See what the horn. Bell. And all of them. Up. Ooh, even the number boards light up. That's awesome. Can we go three for three? Can we go three for three? All aboard. Oh, we did it. Now arriving on track number one, engine 8570. That's enough diesels. Never. It's never enough. So that is a cool looking diesel locomotive and we just saw three fantastic engines that are very affordable that hopefully will be on your engine roster real soon. So go on our website, yankeedabba.com and get them pulling trains on your layout today so you'll be the hit of the model train general area.
All right, well, that's it for our show here at What's New at Yankee Devil, where, of course, every day is a train show. Hopefully, you found something that's going to find its way in your layout, like the SD40, the SD50. We had those weld cars and the containers that go inside of them. We had the 40-foot boxcar, the 40-foot high cube boxcar, and, of course, those RS3s. But if that's not enough, guess what? I know some people are excited about the re-release of the Broadway Limited Big Boys. So we're going to be taking a look at those reels soon. We don't have any of the show yet, but one of our employees, Christian, drew a conceptual drawing of what they look like. Um, I don't know about the logistics of this one, but hey, you know, uh, he's getting better. So... We'll look we'll at the real one on a video but soon enough, all right? So stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed to Engineers Hall's YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest things that we have going on here. As a matter of fact, if he gets 1,000 subscribers this week, he said he's going to uh, do a video previewing his brand new dance, the Choo Choo Slide. So, yeah, that's something right there. Well, I hope you all enjoyed our show here, and we're going to conclude with a rail fan video. We're going to go to the Reading and Northern Railroad, and we're going to take a look at the recently restored Reading T1, number 2102, rolling down the tracks. This is a video that I know a lot of us have been waiting for, myself included, so I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you excuse me, as you guys watch that, i got to take uh, Christian to his art class here. Uh, today's finger painting, we're going to, you know, probably fill this in or maybe get working on some other things. We're, we got to get better, so, you know. We'll see how that works. Christian, get ready. Yay. Yeah, you gotta buckle him in. I'll see you later, guys.